welcome back to Cruising as Crew. My name is Lucy and today we are going to be going through the easiest and the hardest jobs on board a cruise ship. So I think we're going to start with the hardest jobs first. The hardest jobs that you could possibly do working on board a cruise ship. All right, so the jobs that I have chosen for the hard category is based on how much they work compared to their salary. So for example, engineers have a really hard job, but they are very well compensated, so they do not make the list. So the jobs I've chosen are the jobs that don't necessarily have a low salary, but considering how much they work, they could definitely be paid more. The first job, a chef. Oh my god, if you work in the F&B department, the food and beverage department on a cruise ship, woo! But especially the chefs. They work extremely hard. Like their days start at like 7, 8 a.m. and then they work until maybe 12, preparing everything for the evening. And they have like a four hour break from 12 to 4 and at 4 o'clock they go back into the kitchen to cook all night long and hopefully finish work at like 11 12 o'clock at night that is a long day and also although they get like a four hour break in the middle it always it always got to me because i was like that's not really enough time to do anything like okay you finish work at 12 by the time you've had your lunch and showered it's half 12 if you're really really fast and then you're going to have to be back at half three to get ready to go back to work at four. So that gives you three hours to get off and like explore the ports it, or have a nap. So although you think, oh, a four hour break in the middle of the day, that's nice. It's, it's, it is, it's better than nothing, but it's not enough time to actually do anything. I mean, of course, you know what I mean? Like you can make the most of that time, but I think they should get more time off. And I also think they should be paid more because they work so hard. And then of an evening, depending on what restaurant they work in on what ship, they have to feed up to like 250 people in a night, in one night. That's a lot of people. And everyone's expecting their order to be perfect. Everything cooked to perfection. You've got people shouting orders at you. You've got a lot of cooks in the kitchen. Yeah, it's just being a chef. I mean, to be honest, being a chef anywhere in the world, I think is admirable because I think it's a very very stressful job because I mean what do people get most annoyed about if it's wrong their food people are assholes when they're hungry so yeah to be a chef especially on board a cruise ship is is difficult if you are wanting to be a chef on board a cruise ship good for you brace yourself you will work extremely hard um and as I said, it's not that your salary will be low, but I definitely think for the amount you work as a chef, uh, yeah, you should be paid more. The next hard job I have chosen on a cruise ship is housekeeping. And to be honest, I think this goes without saying. Um, like the housekeeping team that cleans your room every day, the cabins on the cruise ship. Um, but also not just that, like the housekeeping team that take care of the public areas. Like they make sure there's no dust in the atrium or in any of the restaurants or in any of the... Um, just like public spaces like on some cruise ships you have a library or so the housekeeping team that basically makes sure the whole ship is clean and ready to go especially during covid because not only do you have to just make sure everything looks clean everything has to be sanitized and actually be 100 percent clean not that it was not before but as you know like obviously with covid the um the levels of sanitizing have just gone up like 10 times so yeah to be housekeeping is um is a really really difficult job again they work really long hours if they're cleaning cabins cabins are usually clean twice a day so once in the morning and once in the evening and i mean i think they have 10 cabins per cabin steward so that's a lot and again they are paid very well on virgin however for the amount they work um yeah like it could always be more but the i mean the work is strenuous like 
to be changing beds and lifting sheets and getting down on your hands and knees and like scrubbing floors and everything like that it's, it's a very physically demanding job being in housekeeping so yeah really really difficult and i have all the uh, admiration for anyone who works in housekeeping because they work extremely hard. This one is actually exclusive to Virgin and I've chosen the Roadie and Rockstar Agent. So here on the Virgin Voyages ship, the most popular cabin is the Sea Terrace because that's what we have the most of but then we have the rockstar suites which we have 78 of them and then we have the mega rockstar suites and we have 15 mega rockstar suites and they are amazing now with the mega rockstar suites you will get a roadie and there are four roadies on board which means one roadie will look after three mega rockstar cabins and in the mega rockstar cabins there's going to be mega rockstars like they're expensive cabins on board these ships. And then for the Rockstar Suites, you will have a Rockstar agent. And I believe each agent will look after 10 Rockstar cabins if they are fully, uh, if they're full of sailors. Obviously, at the moment, uh, because of COVID, we are not full capacity yet. So like the Rockstar Suites, all 78 of them aren't necessarily full, which means that there's, uh, less cabins to each rockstar agent if that makes sense anyway the rockstar agents and the roadies are basically butlers for the sailors that are in these cabins and especially the roadies who look after the mega rockstar suites they work extremely hard because they're basically on standby 24 7 for whatever that mega rockstar needs or wants and as you can imagine you know, there's some regular requests, like we would like coffee delivered to our cabin in the morning, absolutely fine. And then there's some more crazy requests, which I'm not gonna mention in this video. Um, but yeah, they basically run around like a headless chicken all day, making sure that those mega rock stars have exactly what they need so that they can have the best vacation of their life. Now, of course, this is their job, this is what they're paid to do, and, and every roadie and rock star agent I've spoke to have said that they love their job, but, they work hard and on other cruise ships you will have a similar thing for the really expensive cabins they will come with a butler and I'm sure it's the same on those cruise lines the butler will work extremely hard for his money um, but yeah it's a really cool job but it's hard and then finally the hardest job on a cruise ship or one of the hardest jobs on a cruise ship is the security department security are always working and especially on port days so obviously on port days the ship docks they have to get the gangway set up then they have to stand at the gangway all day and scan people out of the ship and then scan people into the ship when they come back on board when the ship sets sail they have to bring the gangway back in onto the ship which is obviously very heavy um you know if you're in the caribbean security basically have to stand in the heat all day waiting for people to come and go from the ship and then on sea days it's more relaxed because they don't have a gangway to man however they do have to walk around the ship and make sure everything is okay so in terms of hours worked i think security probably get the least amount of time off out of any department and of course they, they're aware of this everything is in their contract when they come on board but to work in the security department like you are going to be working every day for at least 12 hours a day uh, every day of your contract if, and your contract as security is normally like eight to nine months especially on like other cruise lines so yeah security work extremely hard and then of course they're also the first people you call if there's a crisis on board which luckily isn't that common but uh, yeah just in terms of manning the gangway you just stood on your feet all day in the heat it's just hard really hard and they deserve every penny that they earn. So those are the four hardest jobs that you can do on a cruise ship, in my opinion. However, if you work on a cruise ship and you feel like you have one of the hardest jobs, then let me know in the comments if I didn't say what your job is. Or if you are in security or you do work as a chef, let me know if you agree that it is one of the hardest jobs on a cruise ship. But now we are gonna go into the easiest jobs on a cruise ship. So. I'm going to mention these jobs if you happen to do one of these jobs on a cruise ship and you're like, hey, there's really hard aspects to it. I I get that 
every job has hard aspects to it but the jobs I'm going to mention are are cushy like they're very lovely jobs to have on a cruise ship because you get paid you probably get a lot of time off you get a lot of privileges so let's get into it firstly I'm going to start with the shops so yes for those of you who don't know I do work in the shops on board and it is a really easy job and as I said, yes, it does have hard aspects to it. When I came to Valiant and we had to set up the ship, it was really difficult because there's a lot of deliveries, there's a lot of heavy lifting, uh, there's a lot of pricing, counting, like, yeah, that was difficult. Setting up a ship in whatever department you're in is hard. However, now we are in regular operation, I am basically on vacation, and that rhymes, because the shops can only be open when the ship is at sea for tax reasons, which means like today, we're in port until 6pm, so I start work at 7pm, I have all day off, so I have all day to do what I want to do, whether I want to sleep, record videos, whether I want to go out and actually explore the port that we're in. I can do that. Now it is one of the lower paid jobs on a cruise ship but I mean I get so much time off or shop staff get so much time off that it kind of warrants the, I don't want to say warrants the salary because it could always be more um, but especially now that we're in regular operation like the pay is I guess equal to the amount that we're working but the job is pretty stress free I mean I look after my shop and I help people make their purchases and that's it you know I can when I close that shop I don't have to think about work whereas like if I work in HR or if I'm the captain it's not like I can just clock off and not think about work again like you're constantly on standby um, so it's a very easy job relatively stress-free I would say the hardest part of my job is delivery and yeah so yeah working in the shops is is nice is easy but what i would say if you do want to work in the shops on board cruise ships uh do it because you want loads of time off don't do it for the money because as i said it is one of the lower paid jobs on board a cruise ship the next job we are going to choose is again one that is exclusive to virgin and that is box office so if you work in box office you are in charge of booking people into the shows uh, checking people into the shows making sure everyone is sat correctly within the shows basically anything to do with shows um, and I'm sure there are hard aspects, you know, definitely it's difficult if people come on and let's say their app didn't work, but they're like, well, I booked all of my shows before I came on board the cruise ship, but now the app is failing, but the show is fully booked, but this person is telling you that they want to go to the show. So yeah, of course there are stressful parts to being in box office. However, they get a lot of time off. So a lot of time off to see the ports, explore the places, or just do what they want to do. Um, and they are very, very well compensated for how much work they do. And yes, like every job, there are stressful parts, but I do believe that the job in general is pretty stress-free. And like in the shops, when you clock out, you don't have to think about it again. So yeah, box office is a very nice department to work in. The casino. If you work in the casino, you're going to have a very nice life. Again, yeah, there are difficult aspects to the job. You will work long hours, just like in the shops, you know, on a sea day. Yeah, I'm going to work long hours. But like the shops, the casino can only be in action when the ship is at sea. So when the ship is in port, the casino will be closed, which means if you work in the casino, you have all that time to go and explore the ports or sleep. And especially if you're on a cruise with some very wealthy people and you get some big tippers, you know, you can you could be making some serious bank if you work in the casino and then you'll get all day off to explore the next port. So you know, if you are in that world, then the casino is definitely a very nice job to have on board a cruise ship. And the last job that I think is the easiest to do on board a cruise ship is to be in the excursions department. You get some nice time off. You get to go on a lot of the excursions. Um, on most cruise ships, if you are in the excursions department, you are quite, uh, what's the word? You have a higher rank, so you will have your own cabin. You'll be considered to be an officer, so you can eat in the officer's mess. That doesn't really apply on Virgin because, uh, as I've said in other videos, there isn't an officer's mess. Like, if there's one mess for everyone, there's one crew bar for everyone, which I love. Um, but on other cruise lines, you are a higher status, so you do get some really nice privileges 
if you are excursion staff. I mean, your job is to book lovely trips in beautiful countries and destinations and go on those trips because obviously you have to experience the excursion to be able to recommend it to the next people. So yeah, really, really nice job to do. I would definitely consider working in the excursions department. You're very well compensated in terms of pay. You get a nice amount of time off. Um, so yeah, I, excursions is a very good department to work in. But those are the four hardest and easiest jobs that you can do on board a cruise ship, in my opinion. Uh, again, if you disagree or agree, then let me know in the comments. And if you have any questions, then you can also leave them down below or you can message me on Instagram at Cruising as Crew and I will do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. But I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day, whatever you choose to do, and I will see you in the next video, guys. Bye.